Yeah, that's fair, Raptor. I rarely, I rarely talk about alcohol on my streams, not because I hate it or anything. I, um, I definitely am really... Hold on, I have to cough. <coughs> oh, I swallowed my... <coughs> I think I'm dying. But, um, I don't talk about alcohol much more, mostly because there's not much to talk about. I don't, like, dislike alcohol, but I am really, like, I'm really picky with alcohol. I don't really like most alcohol. There's a good amount of alcohol that I will not, like, I just do not like the taste of. But there are very few, like, alcoholic drinks, like, nothing crazy, like, tequila or anything like that. I'll, I, like, I wouldn't really like, I don't really like strong, like, acquired taste. The closest thing I'll have to an alcohol is, like, a Mike's Lemonade. I do like those, but outside of that... Eh, I'd rather just not drink. But if I'm at a gathering, I'll probably drink every now and then. But I rarely, rarely drink. So, you know. Nothing against people who, you know, I are either al alcoholics. Or nothing against people who, who... Who like drinking and all that. And I don't even hate drinking. I just don't see the... I, I don't personally, like... I don't live for it, and I definitely am not, like, a huge, huge fan of it. But every now and then, you know. I'm not anti-drinking, but, like, you know. Not anti-drinking, but I'm also not, like, big on it either. Nothing against people who like doing it, and nothing against people who hate it. Totally understandable, basically. Back to the game. <laughs> These days, seeing a Moloch is as common as seeing a cat or a dog. It sure was an eye-opener when they first started appearing three years ago. Where do you suppose they come from? They seem to be alive, but they don't answer it if you call to them. A real mystery, huh? The only- in my defense though, chat, the only reason I brought up alcohol was because the game brought up alcohol. We were in the bar and there were people talking about drinking being their li lives. <laughs> That's the only reason I talked about it. I probably wouldn't have talked about my opinion of alcohol if that didn't happen. Yabby provides the people with special Malak Forge weapons that work against demons. I don't stand much chance against those monsters, but I'll gladly do what I can to keep everyone else safe. I'll prepare a nice Ulology. I hate you, Raptor. I hate you a lot. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Alright, peace out, Mogli. Oh! Rokuro. Finally. There's also people to talk to. Also, the inn has some cutscenes. Welcome! Cold out there, isn't it? Come on in. Rest up for a while, won't you? Let me grab this cat soul really quick. Where is the, uh... Boy, is it cold out there. Get over to the stove. Fancy a bowl of soup. Don't be shy now. The Abbey teaches us to help each other out, right? We finally have our next party member, by the way. Today's the day I'm gonna talk to her, but I just need to talk to her normally, casually. Why does that have to be so hard? Rokuro is one of my favorite characters in this game. Again, as I said, I love all the characters of this game. I don't dislike any of them. It'd be really hard to conjure up a ranking. Maybe at the end of the playthrough, I'll have a ranking of sorts. Shipping Guild is under the wing of the Abbey. They've turned the city into the greatest trading hub in the north. Hellebees has become almost shamefully rich these past few years. I know what you mean. Is it just me or is the guild taking more than their fair share? Aye, but I'm small-time trader, so it could just be jealousy speaking. Give me. There is a... yeah. Yeah. 
That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. It's the best kind of Rokuro. Rokuro being Rokuro is amazing. Yeah, I love Rokuro. Just in general, he's hilarious. Anyway, let's see what you got going on, Rokuro. Okay, got a couple of stuff. I'm gonna learn the resistance ring first. I think we'll also learn the battle boots first. We also did get the jacket list. I don't think I like that as much. Yeah, no. I, I love the jacket part. The white and the red is what makes the outfit look good. It just looks really weird. I mean, you have it on the bottom, but like, it's not the same. I like you wearing it more. Oh my goodness, chat. Look at that. By the way, can I move up? Look at that eye. No, thanks. I like it like this. Alf in the hairstyle. Let's walk as Rokuro for a bit. Alright, there's some people to talk to before we move on. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates. Then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of Ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Not human, you say? Probably demons. Thou turned demon and you came from that village. We can't let strangers come into the town. Oh, we're going to Dial's home, but these are optional people then. I definitely want to talk to all of them, though. Dial turned demon and he came from that village, can't let- Oh, you say that- Oh, you're different. That village? That one full of folk who won't listen to the abbey? Anyone could have seen that coming. Gimme. Oh, you're over there. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your Alpha Forces and my Gamma Forces work together, Beta Area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an Alliance Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of Ease Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All fair in snow and war. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> this cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that. What do they call it again? Uh. Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. Or is it? Ah, it's so cold, 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 so cold and getting heated, just talking about it, how cold it is. Are anyone at the port, or is there just here in Hell of Ease? There is someone at Hell of Ease. Hmm. 
what a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with, too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Ha, <laughs> word without the Abbey sounds great. But we live through another day. Praise be to the Abbey and Lord Artorius. I will give it to them. Lord Artor Artorius is one of the best Tales of Villains. Along with Gaius. My favorite Tales of Villain is either Artorius or Gaius. Man, how long have I been streaming? It's like 11.25 my time. Wow, almost six hours. That is crazy. I straight up lost track of time. We only played... We've only been playing Berseria for three hours, but then we played FF10 for two Whoa, hours. Yak. Hey, Velvet. Here's a fun fact. Yaktail here is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. <laughs> At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with Yaktail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Is that the yak making a sound? It literally felt like the yak was in my room as we were as we were listening to that. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. I, dude, I, I straight up lost track of time. Mmm, I... I mean, we might... I'm gonna go for like... I guess I'm gonna go for like another 50 minutes. I can, I can handle another 50 minutes. Actually, I'm trying to think here. We're on Beardsley. It's a pretty good place to wrap up. Maybe I should wrap up now. That's gonna be a little weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll go for like another 20 to 40 minutes. I'm you can't use items decreased. Pretty tempting. I don't have a crazy amount of gil. We can't really enhance. We'll come back here when we're, uh, wondering about that. Wait, how are we? Oh, right. We can't go to the entrance. We have to go, we have to go back to the port from the, from the storage house. Dude, that is wild. I mean, I've gone longer, but like, point is, I did not even notice we were at six hours already. Definitely am hungry, but I think I can hold it for like another 20 to 40 minutes. Probably because I ate all those uh all those protein bars. It's probably why I'm I wasn't as hungry as we played the game. I can I can handle another 45 minutes, I think. That's what happens when you play such a great game. You just lose track of time. Normally, I lose track of time. The only thing that really, honestly, the only thing that stops me from streaming is my hunger. My hunger is the one thing that's like, yeah, you got to stop streaming. Happens with SMT5. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, I want to keep playing, but I'm hungry. I guess I'm just not that hungry today. I am kind of hungry, but I can hold it for a bit. Two demons in the cold. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? 
I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. Thank goodness Rokuro isn't an over-the-top drinker. He does drink, but, like, he's not over-the-top with it. As I said, though, I don't, I don't disagree with anyone who is an over-the-top drinker. It's not me. Yo, Devour. We'll play as Rokuro in a bit, though. Actually, what arts does Rokuro have? Yeah, I don't, I don't really like Rokuro's early arts. We're probably not going to play as Rokuro until a little later in the game. I'm a bigger fan of Rokuro once he gets more arts. His early arts are like one of the worst. He does get some amazing arts later though. Stick with Velvet for now. Also, very much like other Tales games, I like playing as basically everyone. I have my favorites, but I do like playing as everyone. A genuine amount. Actually, there's always that one character in Tales Up where I'm like, eh. Your style is really unique. HP, I know what HP and SG. Why are they teaching me all this now? It's so weird. There's always that one character that I'm like, eh. Like Malik and Grace's F, where I just don't dislike playing as him, but I would rather play as literally anyone else. Or Alvin and Zillia. Alvin or Elise and Zillia. That's not the case with Arise, though. I feel like Arise is like the... Kind of like Berseria, where I literally will play as anyone. There's no one in Arise where I'm just like, I'd rather play as someone else. I have my favorites, but like, there's no one in Arise where I'm like, I hate playing as this person. Which is amazing. Arise did really good with that. Time to get devoured. I should be careful if we do run into that dire foe. For some dumb reason, Bandai Namco made the first Dire Foe, like, stupid strong. They made it, like, level 90. For some reason. It was a close one, but I, am the victor. I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. Amber Daggers. I have short swords use Amber as a mana catalyst. Alright. Yeah, for some reason they made the Dire Foe in Berseria, like, stupid strong. So it is like level 80, and the way you get dire foes is you have to keep fighting enemies. So if we run into that, we're gonna have to run. So I should save often, because I would hate to have to load my save. Bum, bum, bum. They were nothing. Actually, speaking of, let's do a quick save. Quick save is an option. You want to see what's up here really quick? Oh, hi, bud. How's it going? Get consumed. Blue Inferno. Big fan of these Theronize arts. Fine. Go down, you bird. I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. Devour. Out. That didn't work out well. It's fine because we're gonna stun lock you. Get him, Rokuro. Rokuro, help me. We're finished. Ship a Rokuro on the different uh, thing. Ooh, Blade Dancer. Title earned. Gotta see what all these titles do. This is Hidden Arts used. Status ailments afflicted. This will happen over time. 